Boston police searching for a suspect after a man was shot multiple times. This happened on Columbia Road in Dorchester. Well, Boston police say a man shot in Dorchester last night has died. The shooting happened in the area of Dudley Street and Columbia Road in Dorchester. Developing story tonight, police trying to track down the gunman behind a daylight shooting. A man in his 20s shot in Dorchester. Now, this follows a shocking night of violence in and around Boston. Four different crime scenes, eight people shot, five of them killed. Man, what's up, everybody? This 1090 Jake. Y'all been requesting the neighborhood walkthrough. Y'all want to see what it's like where I stay at? I'm going to show y'all what it's like. This is Upham's Corner. This is the beginning of Dudley Street in Dorchester. Dudley Street goes all the way through Dorchester into Roxbury. Throughout the street, you got multiple hoods. Most of the side streets are different hoods. A lot of these streets don't fuck with each other. So it's a lot of pressure just going through Dudley Street. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these places are in real close proximity to each other and they got beef with each other and they be striking, you know? So you got a lot of people getting killed, a lot of people getting flipped on this street right here. Where we're at right now, you see white people outside of this little grocery store, but that's only because they're buying dope. So it's a lot of strung out people right here. The neighborhood is really K Verde in the Spanish. Not a lot of white people over here, you know what I mean? So when you white, you kind of stick out. Now, me and my girlfriend, we walked up this same hill and we turned the corner on the Dudley, right? And we were arguing at the time and somebody from across the street yelled over, hey, you don't see what the fuck going on? Now, I'm already pissed off, so I'm looking like, who the fuck is this bitch? You know what I'm saying? But when we look up, we see that the whole street is blocked off with the police. And I mean, there's mad police out. But what's crazy is it was mad quiet. You know, it was like 10, 11 at night. The street was pretty much dead. It must have been like on a weekend or something or maybe a weekday. There's usually a lot of traffic on this street. But everything's quiet and we just see all the police lights. So we walk up to see what happened. Because it was blocked off, we had to go down Wendover Street and through some side streets to get home. Now, Wendover is its own hood. They got their own shit going on. I don't know nobody from over there, right? But more or less... When I get home, I find out what had happened, and it turned out to be a double shooting right here. And I mean, the details of it, it gets a little bit crazy. So dude that actually did the shooting, he popped off from across the street. The fucking crackers. So he came running from that street, shooting over to the other side of Dudley. There was a lady that went out to her car to get cigarettes or whatever, she heard the shots and was running back to her apartment, which is that door right there. She got hit in the back. I think it was a few times. The guy that was the target got hit in the head, was laid out on the floor. You're breaking overnight. A deadly shooting is under investigation in Roxbury. Police say a man and a woman were shot at about midnight at Upham's Corner. That's near Wendover and Dudley Streets. The man was killed. The woman, she said to be in her 30s, is now listed in critical condition at Boston Medical Center. They're now looking for the shooter. Now, when we had walked up, you know, they had a sheet over him. I didn't even know there was a second person shot. But come to find out, she got paralyzed from the neck down. It was a wild-ass story, you know what I mean? And it was my first time walking up on something like that since I've lived in Boston. But that's how it is, though. You know, the street, it'll look dead or it'll look like everybody's outside hanging out. You wouldn't think nothing will happen. Somebody strikes and shit pops off. But buddy that did that, he actually ended up getting caught. He was like some 22-year-old kid. He killed a 35-year-old, injured the woman. It was a fucked up case. But even this side street right here, a young kid got killed. He got stabbed to death. Breaking news this morning. A man has been killed in a stabbing in Dorchester. Breaking news out of Dorchester, where police are now confirming two men were shot before crashing their car and it erupted into flames. And it was crazy hearing about the shooting, too, because they literally got shot up, crashed the car, and the car burnt up in flames with them inside of the car. So not only did they get shot, and I don't know if they died before they got burnt, but that car literally burnt up. You know what I'm saying? It's wild when you hear stories like this, especially when you live around this type of shit. You know what I mean? Like... It's, just, it's not a good feeling. You feel like you always got to be on point. There'd be a little bit of graffiti going on, too, in the area. I'm not going to lie. And I've always appreciated graffiti and artwork and things like that. 
I mean, somebody shot a music video on top of this bridge before, but I don't know who the fuck that person is. I don't got no association with them. But, you know, I appreciate the little city life vibes, but the graffiti ain't nothing compared to New York. It's really just play play over here. Nothing too crazy. Now, this is actually getting closer to where I be around. And I mean, closer to where I got arrested at. This next street right here, Alexander Street. I found out my grandfather actually grew up on this street back when this whole area was all Irish. So it was cool to hear somebody in my family actually lived around this area before me. You know what I'm saying? Just before 7 last night, police were called to 127 Alexander Street, where they found a teen who had been shot multiple times. Then, just a few blocks away at 11 Emrose Terrace, officers found another male victim in his 20s who died on scene. Now, what's fucked up about this case, right, is I actually knew Gabe. Me and him were going to court together, and the courthouse, you know, is Roxbury Court. It's on the Roxbury side of Dudley Street. We were in the same little choice program, and I tried to get him a job. You know, we got cool just because we're from the same area. I tried to get him a job at the smoke shop, but he wasn't feeling it because he got a lot of ops and shit. He didn't want to try to work at a spot like that. You know what I'm saying? A spot that's kind of wide open where he could be a target or whatever. And I used to hate going to court because I got to take the bus through Dudley Station. And, you know, where we live at, got a lot of problems with over there. I would get into shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to get into shit on my way to court. I'm not trying to have to walk around with something on me just to know I'm protecting my life while I'm on my way to court fighting a case. But I got cool with bro, and bro gave me a ride home from court. Um, and it was close to when he actually, you know, got taken off for probation or whatnot. But... It's fucked up. You know, when I found out he died, I actually heard the sirens going off that night and didn't know, obviously, where they were going or what had happened. And I found out once they identified him, you know, there were two people shot. Yeah, I mean, I heard he got hit in his head and someone else got hit up and they got put in critical. But that shit fucked with me a lot because it was the first person I started to socialize with in this neighborhood. And then he got killed, you know what I'm saying? But that's how it is when you live out in an area like this. You know, this is the park that I took my daughter to. This is the park that they shot up on the 4th of July. It's fucked up. Boy, happy fall, black. Dudley Street Park, bitch. Yeah. Eyes in the hood, bitch. Set them shits off, boy. Ooh! Nine people were shot in more than a dozen separate shootings in just a matter of days. Six were shot last Friday night in Roxbury. The night prior, on the holiday itself, two were shot, including an eight-year-old girl in the foot. And then Sunday night in Dorchester, another man was shot but survived. Now, what happened at the park, I'm not going to get into details, but somebody more or less tried to kill somebody that was at the park. While he shot that guy, he got hit up in his chest. He's paralyzed now. The shooter's own daughter was also at the park, and she got hit in the foot. So the guy who tried to kill the other guy ended up shooting his own daughter in the process. And it, it was wild because I was literally just outside with my baby girl in my arms watching the fireworks go off. I brought her inside. I came back out. And there's police everywhere, they're putting red tape up. Neighbors are telling me, yeah, two people just got shot. They think dude's dead. The little girl got hit. It was crazy. I was literally just out there with my daughter. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, that could have been me. That could have been her. It's just wild. There were so many kids outside. And there were so many kids still outside after it happened. It's, it's not that safe of an area, especially when shit popping off like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, on the 4th of July, all the kids are out there. And there's usually mad police around this area because it pops off a lot over here. You'll have police parked in certain areas, like where that double shooting took place and the woman got paralyzed. There's usually police parked there nonstop. But 
This right here, this is Brook Ave. This is another dangerous ass side street that a couple people got killed on. And, um, you know, people park and hang out in their car and smoke and shit. You won't ever catch me doing that. Red is somebody that died right before I moved over here. A lot of people I know got a lot of love for him. And they always keep the flowers on point and yearly they have a celebration for him. Just remembering him and celebrating his life. But yeah, people don't got hit up on that corner. We still got the little flowers up there. This is the corner stores right here. You got the car park and then you got the yellow store. It's wild. It's a wild ass intersection and it's deadly over here, especially if you in a car too, because the traffic be bumper to bumper. So people just run up on cars and it is what it is. Wild Boy was somebody that died before I moved here, but I always heard his name. Of course, I see his name on the wall. Another young kid that got killed right here at this intersection by somebody that did get arrested and did get convicted on the murder. Just neighborhood shit. Different neighborhoods beefing with each other. So this is Carter Street right here. This is actually the divide of Dudley Street. This is where Dorchester turns into Roxbury. Carter Street is another street should be popping the fuck off at. And I'm only really throwing in the major cases. This doesn't really include all the robberies and extra shit that goes on in this area. You got these shot spotters and cameras on pretty much every single corner, every single block going up. And you only see those blue things, the blue cameras like that with the shot spotters when you in a fucked up neighborhood. This is Tony's Barber Shop. Shout out to Tony. Got my hair cut there a few times. I used to work on this strip at Backwoods Pizza. This was my first job over here in this area. They used to look out for me when it came to court and everything like that. This was another wild spot though. People would get shot. Next day they come up in here showing us the bullet wound and shit. We used to get the scoop on all the hood shit inside of that place because everybody from the hood used to come in there and tell us about what's going on. Now Justin, he got killed leaving the pizza place. He got killed leaving Backwoods. And um, come to find out, he was actually best friends with Gabe. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of the hoods and this and that, but he was a kid that used to be around this area. And more or less, when he walked outside of Backwoods, he crossed the street to get into his Mercedes and he got shot. I heard he also got shot in his head, unfortunately. And um, you know, he was a young kid, and then they had the memorial for him. The gunshots went off at the memorial, the candlelight visual, but him and Gabe was best friend. That picture of Gabe, he actually has Justin's pin on his hat. He used to always wear it to court. And it's just crazy, you know, seeing them now on cards. And when I saw that grave, you know, they're buried together. They're buried with each other. That shit just hit me because, you know, I knew Gabe. I didn't know Justin, but I knew Gabe, and I only knew him for a short amount of time. And I tried to help him out. I tried to get him a job. My boss actually came to court to vouch on my behalf to get me off of probation, which I actually did get terminated early. I introduced her to Gabe. And I remember when she came by the store and she asked me about him. She's like, yo, how's he doing? Have you heard back from him? Does he still want a job? And I had to tell her he got killed. You know what I'm saying? He, he was on probation, got off, and then got put back on. He got caught with a knife or some shit. And um, it's fucked up, but it just shows you how that street shit goes. You know, somebody's around for one second and then they get killed. His boy Justin, he got shot earlier that year. They had hit him up over by Wendover. He got shot in the back. He got shot in his hand. And it just be some back and forth shit, you know? It just be different neighborhoods, people hating on each other, whatever it is. But he got killed and then Gabe got killed. It's wild. And you know, people out there for revenge, so it's like a cycle that doesn't stop. It just, it keeps going. And that goes for every hood. Everybody know how that is. If you've ever been involved in some shit like this or around shit like this. You know what time it is. It's just a vicious cycle of hate and negative energy. People that are frustrated by their surroundings, their environment, the way they were brought up, how they were brought up, whatever it is, and they take it out 
on each other, whether they're the same race, whether they're the same whatever. You know, we're all humans at the end of the day. Everybody acts like it's all about money and shit. Like, oh, I, I just want to get money. I just want to... If you getting money, bro, you know killing ain't the way to go. Because if you get money in any other way but legally, and you involved with killings and shit like that, you bring so much attention to yourself, you really can't even get money. So a lot of these kids out here, they put in a position where they can't even get street money and they don't want to get legal money because if they working at Target or some shit and their ops find out, they're going to come shoot them the second they get off work. And that's dead ass how it be. That's the reason Gabe didn't want a job and he still ended up getting killed. It's fucked up. It's sad to say. This right here, this is Cottage Street. This is East Cottage. So, you know, we walked past West Cottage first. This is East Cottage. They got a shot spot on this street, too. Right up here on this fucking pole. They kind of cleaning it up, you know what I'm saying? There was a few abandoned buildings right here, but they just fixed them up recently. They're probably trying to rent them out to white people and gentrify this bitch. But really, the only reason Dudley Street ain't gentrified is because people are getting killed. That's the only reason. But don't get it. Twisted and misunderstood, there's still a lot of hard-working people over here. There's a lot of people that have immigrated from other countries and that have really tightened down and found employment, started families, brought their families over, take care of their families. So you can't just look at the negative and pretty much stereotype a whole neighborhood off of that. This is Leyland Street right here. Laneland is pretty much behind Dudley Street, behind Dudley Park, and it's like its own hood in itself. I'm not really going to get into the specifics of who is mainly on this block, but it's just like anywhere else over here. You know, people like to say, oh, I'm a product of my environment, when the majority of your environment is hardworking people. It's only the minority in these neighborhoods that are really... Involved with gangs, involved with violence, involved with the bullshit. You know, this same area right here across from this field, this is where I caught my case at, my case up here. This is, you know, where they said I ran up on somebody with a gun and put it in their face and tried to rob them, etc., etc. This is where the police ran down on me and they had the guns out on me. I didn't know if I was going to get shot by them or not. You know, that really happens a lot down in Florida. And that's just the way he was holding it and shaking it at me while he was talking. I don't know. It was like a big adrenaline rush. But I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. It just feels cold over here sometimes. You know, the anxiety of not knowing what's going to happen when you go outside. If you're going to get shot when you go outside or... Is a bullet going to come through your house mixed with the PTSD of being inside a prison and the fact that I can't legally defend myself. I can't legally be around firearms. It's just added anxiety. It's added stress. It's, it's not good. It's not good for my mental being, being in this area, knowing what goes on in this area and putting myself and my family at risk. By being outside in this area. It's not a good feeling. And I wanted to show y'all the shit that goes on in this place so y'all understand it. It's never for glorification. It's so y'all understand how life really work over here. Why I move differently. Why I can't vlog in my neighborhood with the camera on my face. Because there's a risk of something happening and I need to see it before it happens to make sure that I'm still breathing the next day. But now we're back up here. We're on Dudley Street in Howard. Right by the bus stop. Right by Dudley Street Park. But hey, it's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me.